Imagine taking any raw footage and turning it into a clean 3D camera track. You just have to put a video in a folder, then run the script file, and in just few minutes, you'll have the exact camera movement in 3D space. And the best part is that it's completely free. We are only going to use open source tools. Okay, so here's how it works. First, we convert the video into an image sequence. Then, we run it through Photogram Tree software which then gives us precise data about how the camera moved in 3D space. Here's the video clip that I'm going to use today. It was shot on a 6 year old Android smartphone just to show you guys how powerful this tool is. So for this workflow to work, you first have to watch this tutorial and install both GodMap and GloMap. These are the photogrammetry softwares we are going to use. You can find the link for the tutorial in the description. We also need to convert the video file into an image sequence. For that, we will be using FFmpeg. To install it, just open up your terminal and run this command. Now, we need to download the actual script file, which automatically does everything for us. And for that, open the second link and now if you scroll down, you can see the script file. Just click on the row button next to it. And when you're here, right click and select save as. Add .sh to the file name and save it. Okay, so now that we have installed all the required stuff, let's set up the folder structure. First, create a folder for storing everything. Inside this folder, we are going to create three more folders. The first folder needs to be called videos, full caps exactly like this. And in this folder, we are going to place our video file. And then we are going to make a new folder called scripts. And in this folder, we are going to place the script file. And then the last folder is going to be called scenes. You can leave it empty because this is the output folder. Now all we have to do is to run the script file. And for that, click view, then show path bar, and then down here, Right click the name of your folder and click open in terminal. This will open the script folder in your terminal. Now run this command to make the script file executable. Now just type in dot slash run underscore glowmap dot sh and hit enter. Now as you can see, it's converting the video into an image sequence. The whole process will take around 15 to 20 minutes depending on the video file. In my case, it took around 15 minutes. And now, if you go to the scenes folder, you can find a folder with the name of your video file. And inside this folder, you can see images, sparse, and three database files. As I'm just a beginner in Blender, it's better that you guys watch these videos to properly understand how to use these files in Blender. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe.